everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you were watching this video, then you picked the folding fan for this month's Trash Panda Treasure Box. Okay, so we got a couple of things here. We have our origami paper, we have our template, uh, we have our fan bones, we've got some glue, some q-tips, and some directions here and a lovely little silk thread tassel to decorate it with. So we are going to start out by cutting our template. Um, we're going to use it to cut a piece out of each of the sheets of origami paper. So using a pencil, I'm just going to trace this template. And then I will go ahead and cut those out after I've got them both traced. Um, and you want to make sure that you are tracing it on the wrong side of the paper, the back side of the paper, because whatever's on the other side is what we're going to see on the fan. Um, so the fancy pattern side is what I want showing for my fan. And once I've got those drawn, cut them out. And now you're going to spread out the bones of your fan and using a pencil, just kind of draw on either side of them. This is gonna show you where to put your glue to start forming your fan. So when I remove that, I can see where those go and I can glue them. And then I'm gonna spread those fan bones out again and glue them into place. Press them down with your fingers to make sure that they stick and then leave it alone for a while so that it can dry. Once it is dry, that's when we can go ahead and put glue on the other side of these fan bones here. So what, the side that we're looking at right now, you'll put glue on those and then put the other sheet of paper on top. Um, and you may need to trim down some of the paper, make sure that it matches on both sides. Don't worry if there's overlap on the ends because we're gonna fold those in and glue them into place in just a second. But the main thing is to make sure that that glue gets all the way dry. If it's not dry before you try this next folding bit, um, the fan bones will slip out of place. But once it is dry, just very slowly and carefully, you're gonna fold it the way that it looks when it's closed. and then kind of press it and make sure that the paper will hold the folds that you're putting in there. And like I said, there's excess on the ends, but that's okay right now. You may want to trim down the top again. Trim that down a little bit. And then I'm going to open it, open it up again. The more times you open and close your fan, the easier it will open and close. So eventually you may even get it to the point where you can just kind of snap your wrist and the fan will open up. And when you've got those folds in place, you'll know how much kind of extra you're dealing with. And you want just enough on the ends so that you can fold it back over one of those fan bones that's on the end. I'm sorry, I kind of took that out of screen there. Um, but you can kind of see there, trimming it down so there's just enough to fold. I'm gonna go in with my glue and glue the extra excess paper. And because you have double layers, you'll have to do this step twice and just glue them both in the same direction. And then you'll do the same thing with the other side. So here comes my second layer of paper And I'm going to glue down and then I'll do the other side and then we'll, we'll let that dry for a little bit. And then it is time to attach your tassel. And there's a little loop on your tassel that should go over the top of one side of your, your copper wire that's holding the fan bones together. And you should be able to just kind of loop it on there and it should hang pretty easily um, and be heavy enough that it'll kind of hold its own weight down. 
And there you go, a folding fan. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed this month's sort of Japanese theme that we had going on. A couple quick things. We are about to start our summer reading extravaganza at the Rapid City Public Library. Um, so next time you're in or check online our website uh, and you can see what offerings we have for kids, for teens, and for adults. We are going to have weekly drawings for teens and adults. There's going to be a scavenger hunt, one for teens and one for kids. So maybe take a look and see if that's something that you're interested in. One final note for you guys, you may have seen the very small blue note that was in your box. Because we've gotten so many subscriptions, uh, I can't keep up with all of them. Um, so we're going to have to cap each monthly offering at 75. So if what we're offering for next month looks really good to you, get your subscription in sooner rather than later. Um, if you perchance end up on the waiting list, please go ahead and sign up because if we have boxes that aren't picked up or I happen to have extra supplies, I will definitely put boxes together for you guys. Also, it says that there's a new way to sign up, which is true on our website. If you go to events, you can follow that through to find Trash, pa trash Panda Treasure boxes and sign up online. But you can also still sign up the way that you've been signing up all of these months regularly. So we're just trying to get more options out there to you guys. So thank you again. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.